Welcome to week 22 of the Kid and Parent Pregnancy Show. You tend to get some swelling in your legs as your pregnancy advances. In this show, we will learn how pregnancy pillows and maternity support belts can help during pregnancy. We will also explore how to handle unwanted advice from others. Changes taking place in mother. Don't blame yourself if you're not your super efficient self at work or home. Many women experience forgetfulness during pregnancy. It is those hormones again. Your uterus is just above your navel. Some of you may experience stretch marks for the first time at the stage. They can appear in different colors on your stomach, breast, thighs and waist. Your doctor may recommend you to take your fetal anomaly scan during this period. Tip of the week Cut down deep fried and processed foods as much as you can. How is baby doing? Your baby closely resembles a miniature newborn. His eyebrows and eyelids are fully developed. If the baby is a male, his testis moves into his scrotum. If the baby is a female, around 7 million eggs are present inside her ovaries. Each organ performs the task associated with it. His internal organ system such as his digestive and reproductive system continue developing rapidly. He also has fine fingernails that should be cut immediately after delivery. Leg swelling or edema Swollen feet are quite common during pregnancy. Your growing uterus supplies more pressure on your pelvic veins and inferior vena cava. This results in restriction of blood circulation and increases the fluid retention in your feet. Decreased protein content in the body is called hypoproteinemia and is also a cause of edema. Edema occurs during the second and third trimesters. This usually passes off after delivery. Usually, physiological edema disappears in the morning if the legs are raised in the night over a pillow. If it persists, it can be a sign of pregnancy-induced hypertension and you need to consult your doctor. Tips to prevent edema Do not keep your hands and feet in a lowered position. Walk around and take a break whenever possible. Lie down on your left side to minimize the blood flow restriction. Avoid tight-fitting clothes that control the blood flow. Maintain a healthy, balanced diet. Massage the swollen area with essential oils such as lavender and rosemary. Drink plenty of liquids. Do not keep standing for long periods of time. Wear footwear that is comfortable for you. Selecting a size bigger than your usual size is a good choice. If you're lying down, keep your feet raised higher than your heart. Pregnancy Pillows You have always been able to fall asleep as soon as your head touches the pillow. However, as you progress into your pregnancy, you may find it difficult due to pregnancy side effects. Pregnancy bed pillows are available in the market to make you sleep through the night. There are three types of maternity pillows. Simple pillows. This is a pair of usual pillows that you have been always using. They are used to support your back and stomach. Full length pillows. This is a single long pillow that supports your back, stomach and knees. Bean shaped pillows. As the name indicates, this pillow is curled up in the shape of a bean. It supports your stomach and knees. Can I travel during pregnancy and how? As long as there are no complications, you can continue with your travel plans. First trimester is a bit risky for bumpy roads. 
You can travel by train or flight as long as there is no complication with your pregnancy. You should not lift heavy objects. Maternity support belt or band. Maternity support belts or bands give you some relief in lower back pain. It helps with decreasing pressure on the bladder and provides ease during walking or exercising. There are many types and brands available in the market. Some of the insurance companies even bear the cost of a pregnancy bed. You can ask your doctor to write a prescription for them if you need one. This is usually a band with elastic that can be stuck on the lower part of your abdomen with Velcro. Did you know? One in every 2,000 babies is born with a tooth. Handling advice from everyone. Advice starts pouring on you about what to eat, how to sit, sleep, bathe from every quarter once you are pregnant. If this has been bugging you, let me assure you, you are not the only one who feels like this. Women across the country tell stories how even strangers do not hesitate to comment on their looks or touch their belly without being asked. How to handle unwanted advice It seems the arrival of a newborn sparks interest in people. They offer you a seat, open the door, carry your bag and do other things. This is the way of connecting with you and same is the advice or a remark on your looks. You should not let these remarks dampen your spirits. You should ignore what you find annoying. This will keep you relaxed rather than fretting over each comment. Have a nice weekend with this wonderful thought by Annie Buchanan and Deborah Klingsborn. To be pregnant is to be widely alive, thoroughly women and undoubtedly inhabited.